Hi everybody, it's Leslie with just a subject, you know, we all at some time in our life have it and it's how to find love. And, and we all want to be loved. We all want to, I mean, you can argue with who you don't, but at some time in your life, we all want to be loved. Uh, if you don't today, um, you want somebody you can love, somebody that will love you, somebody who cares. And love is so elusive that it can seem like a quest to find it and will never end. And some people have gone for years, been alone, they're widowed, divorced. Uh, I've never met anyone. Uh, we know it exists because others have it, but the path can be so murky that it's tempting to give up on that search, and a lot of people do. There are no surefire tips that I can give you, a guarantee to bring you love, but if you follow this guide, you might be headed in the right direction. Uh, just a second here, please. Sorry. My voice is so raspy. The first thing is, know, know yourself. You know, really know yourself. Understand what you have to offer. And love means sharing yourself with someone else who accepts you for who you are. And that's the most important thing. Someone who accepts you who you are. And you can feel good and you feel happy and you can almost celebrate. It's such a good feeling. Before you can expect someone else to accept you as you are, you need to accept yourself as you are. You must know what self you are projecting also to that person. You might might think of all the answers. They were going to ask you questions you may have for the next time you see them. Um, what are your best qualities? I mean, these are things you could write down. Know in your mind, write down so you know. They, what, what time? What do you like to do with your time? What are your hobbies? What do you like about yourself? What things would you like to work on about yourself? What makes you feel uncomfortable? And all this doesn't have to be right at once, but those are things. Those are really things uh, to find if you meet someone. No, build confidence in yourself. And that's the most important way to meet someone. Um, uh, no matter how you are, whether you're, you're a crowd pleaser, whether you're quiet, whether you're an introvert, be confident about what you have to offer someone. Be very confident. When it comes to finding love, there's no right personality type, no special trait that you will get ahead, no. Contrary to what you might see in romantic comedies and sitcoms, everyone should have a shot at love, everyone. Not just the most popular or conventionally attractive or good looking, so you know what you have and own it. Because many, many things you are, you know, other pe one, piece of, one person may like the other. Know what you're looking, what you are looking for someone in, what you really want. Um, I, I hear so many people saying, I want them to have dark hair and blue eyes and be six foot tall, so forth and so on. Um, you have to decide what's important to you. Um, this is a hard one for me to even do a little, um, do this on because I feel it's the person you're looking for, what's inside the person, who the person is uh, so much. But if, if, for example, you don't want anyone who's over six feet tall or whatever, I'm just giving that for example, um, don't try not to be too specific because people who are, are they are. But for instance, instead of, instead of a, a six feet tall, brown hair, dark eyes guy, focus on personally traits that matter to you. Really traits that matter to you as a person. Because once we get to know someone, everything changes, you know, it's good, it's fine, it's acceptable. Um, remember that, to the point here, it's not a craft, a projection of your future. A partner is just sketching at the basic qualities you're looking for someone. Chances are, the person you end up loving will only have a few of the qualities on your list. So remember, meet people, reach out, meet people, say hello, making more friends, the more friends you meet, make the more people you'll meet. And this is this is how to find love some. Um, don't be judgmental. Uh, that's probably the most important rule when we, it comes to beginnings of friendship and love. Don't be judgmental. If you can't get through, if you can't, can't pass someone's dorky haircut or, or some of the things they do, then don't keep going because uh, it won't work for you, you know, that won't work. Just accept, if you can accept people as they are, that's what will work. 
Be generous with your time. Making friends requires a commitment. If you're serious about feeling, finding love, getting serious about spending time with people, accept invitations to parties, sporting events and concerts. Maybe some of the things you don't like, but if it's a way to go with a friend and meet some new people, it's also a good way to find love. If you aren't much of a joker, ask, ask a few people out for coffee or lunch or happy hour. The point is to create a lot of situations that give you a chance to know people. And it's hard to do that 